Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 21st through the 27th of Love Reading. We're going to see what comes up for you. I want to thank you to my subscribers, commenters, watchers, likes, and supporters. I mean, it's been unbelievable, so thank you all. I wasn't going to do the weekly readings, but due to the requests, I have um, decided to do them. So the, I'm going to keep them as short as possible, though. This is for um, the 21st through the 27th for Pisces. Wishes being fulfilled. Woohoo! That's a good first card. Perhaps something you're feeling victorious or you're feeling really good this week. Yeah, well, there's a change. A shift. Oh boy. Oh boy. So you start out feeling real good. <laughs> At the beginning of the week, you feel like, woohoo, this is great, life is going good. You know, at the beginning of the week, you're feeling proud, you're feeling really good. Then towards the middle of the week, things start to go downhill. All right, things start to go downhill, and you feel, you're starting to feel, you know, moping, like, oh no, what did I do, or what should I do? Um, and then you, maybe you decide, you know what, I can't be around people right now. I need to take some time to be by myself and figure this out. And perhaps, you know, you just don't even want to think about love towards the end of the week. It's like, you know, I just, I'm not sure if I even want love. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It's just who I am. Now we're going to look at the bigger picture. <sighs> things are a little chaotic towards the end of the week. You know, things are a little chaotic and disorganized. Um, I feel like maybe you're concentrating a little bit more on work towards the end of the week. Um, I see that you are being very... Um, you're feeling confident with your work, you know what I mean? You're feeling confident with who you are, but you're, you're crying about something. So you mean your thoughts are going back and forth, okay? Towards the middle of the week, your thoughts are going back and forth. Perhaps you feel like you're not ready for something, and, you know, this is a love reading. Maybe... <laughs> You're just, you're not ready. You're not ready for something. Maybe you have a woman or a man in your life that has come in and has promised you the world, you know, and you feel like, you know, this, it seems good, you know, and it makes you feel good, but on one hand, it makes you feel good, but on the other hand, you're very worried about it. <laughs> So, you know, one hand it's great and on the other hand I'm like, yeah, you're not so sure. You're not like you're you're just not so sure about it. Um I think you're gonna receive some information this week that is going to cause you to go within, okay? It's gonna cause you to contemplate on something. Um, it's going to cause you to contemplate on um, what your next action should be, whether you want to go with it or not, because it looks like you feel like you're, you know, that you, you either you can stay or you can go and you just haven't decided what you want to do. So you're undecided. But the fact of the matter is, is that you do have to make a decision and you are going to, you know, you have to do the right thing. You have to do the right thing for you. Um, 
it's going to take willpower it's going to take courage it's going to take confidence it could whatever decision you make could lead to your wishes being fulfilled okay and whatever clarity or truth that you receive is going to be the truth it's going to be honest okay it's going to be I mean you have truth you have the truth a couple times here it's going to be the truth okay so whenever you read whatever information it is that you receive this week it's going to be the truth so if you have a question about it you know something you've been worried about you know and you get this communication trust that whatever it is it's the truth whatever you hear is the truth okay so anyway um, I see a lot of a high self-confidence okay you have a high self-confidence this week I think you you're feeling very positive at the beginning of the week that you have bouts of um, insecurities you know bouts of you know um, and I think that's self-love up there I think you have bouts of self-love for yourself you know what I mean and then and then you you go back to feeling very very confident again you know, and I think that sometimes you just, during this week, well, at least once, you feel like you need to be by yourself, that you don't want to be around people. Things are, there's just too much at this point. There's just too much. I can't think about this right now. You know, that kind of energy. Um, and you, and that's just all, like, inner conflicts, all right? So, if that's just all your inner demons. And I think it's be of, because of a person who is beautiful, you know, beautiful inside and out, and they've caused some indecision within you, which is, is kind of odd, but that's what I see. Um, I see that there is um, good luck on the horizon, all right? There is good luck. There's something very positive happening this week. And it has to do with a decision. And it has to do with the truth. I think you're going to receive some kind of truth. And it causes a very positive um, event. Okay? Or a positive um, change. But down here, we still have this Five of Swords, which is um, tension, okay? There's some tension, there's some conflicts, there's some disagreements. But whatever it is, you're going to get the truth about it. Whatever disagreements this are, this is, or whatever conflicts this is that are going in, you're going to, that you think are going on, whatever conflicts or whatever you think is going on, you're going to receive the truth about it. All right. Hmm. This person that's in your life is very nurturing, caring, beautiful soul. Um, they are connected to you. Um, could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a um, Virgo. <laughs> I just think you're undecided about this person. But it looks like it could be very positive. I mean, they it could be a very positive union. So this is my after tarot <laughs> and I read the cards to my own depiction I don't care what anybody else other tarot readers call or say or do or any of that this is this is my interpretation I feel like um, you're finally gonna reach a destination that you've been longing for 
okay? I do. I think that you're finally going to reach a destination that you've been longing for. Um, could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. That, you know, and you have your wishes being fulfilled twice. So maybe you've been persistent toward this, towards this person, but either way, or you've held out, or who knows what the story is, but you've been waiting for this. And I, I think that it's finally going to happen. And I think it brings your wishes being fulfilled. It really is a lot of... Um, fulfillment and love put it that way there is but the thing is is up here we have the four of cups this is not accepting it maybe that's where you go into your time of alone to just like you said you need to make a decision do you want it or not that's exactly what it is i think that you're gonna take it because this is you drinking from the cup of love deciding to take the love okay so, and this is your card, all right? One of your cards. So I think that you're deciding to take it. Oh my God. These two together, the same exact card at the bottom. This is totally about disagreements, all right? And strife. Holy shit. And they're right down here at the bottom. So this is big, big, big energy. I think there's been previous disagreements with this person. I think you know who this person is. Okay, and I think it's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo. Uh, that's what I think. Could be another sign, but that's what I think. But anyway, I think that... Um, shit. There's been some conflicts. But I think that... that, that the truth, the truth is going to come out about it. And maybe they weren't really conflicts. Who knows? Because you're moving to a beautiful spot. This right here conflicts again. So it's been like, there's been a lot of uh, disagreements here this week. And it could be that you're just going to have disagreements and maybe they're all, maybe they're within yourself. Because I know how you do that. But it, it might be with this person too. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There might be some disagreements. So, there might be, be some disagreements. I mean, that happens to everybody, right? Because you're going to receive the truth of something. I'm not sure what it is. You're going to receive some honesty about maybe it's from this person regarding past disagreements I don't know what it is but there's a lot of disagreements here there's strife within the week and um, but there's also a lot of beauty and love so it's a mixture I think it's a back and forth kind of same old fucking deal so you know, I can't pretty it up, but I think that you have potential for your wish wishes to be fulfilled once you make a decision. I think that you need to make a decision, you know, whether you want to be with this person or not. So a lot of the strife and the conflicts are within yourself. I think that it's decision-making time. So that's what I have there, Pisces. That's what I have. Um, I'll talk to you soon.